Hello again, and we are having another standard deck tech for the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. We explore some of the new cards, especially those special sets, the big score, as they call it. And one of the cards that has uh, somewhat got my attention here is the Transmutation Font. So this is a 5 to cast artifact mythic. It can be used to tap to create a choice of a blood token, a clue token, or a food token. And then it has his activated ability where you can pay 3 tap sacrifice 3 artifact tokens with different names search library for an artifact card put it on the battlefield and then shuffle and only the drawback is that it can only be activated as a sorcery but nevertheless what uh, I think of, of uh, a deck build that can somewhat fit in this kind of deck is uh, one of the pre-existing uh, big red since uh, most of the components here has still follows the same that of the list I decided that uh, maybe we can still check on what will be the new intuitions. So you can see in the deck list here, we have uh, the cards with the f red uh, border, which are not yet uh, legal to play in the format. But uh, we call this one still as a transmutation font, big red. That is a deck tech for the upcoming uh, standard with the OTG or Atlas of Thunder Junction. So we explore the lineup. We have five creatures here. These are the usual suspects again for this kind of uh, deck build. We have 10 artifacts, some of which are one ofs that can be tutored by the transmutation font. One enchantment, six instants, as more of a card draw, and also a producer of tokens for the father of the font. 25 lands, two prince walkers, that's one of caught and chandra, and then 11 sorceries. As one way to also control the board while you're still going to set up your artifact or big artifacts in this deck now what would be the kind of component as to the transmutation fund would look into in this kind of build so we have uh, one of copy the might stone and the mixed stone this can also be used to ramp up to casting artifact spells but the purpose here is that you can use this one as a sort of a spot removal or just a cardo effect for drawing two cards and later on become a mana ramp whenever you cast a hard cast a cityscape leveler for example or even a portal to Persia. so i've only included two copies of this in the deck because again we focus on the transmutation to search for this one as what it's in the battlefield it can also act as a spot removal or a sort of a mass removal by having our opponent sacrifice three creatures and also having this uh, recurring effect from a graveyard turning it into the battlefield and having it as a correction in addition to its other types. Well, other one of the also considered here, which also subject to your suggestions, is the one copy of Chimil, the Inner Sun from Lost Covers of Ixalan. So this card would also let you to have your spells can be countered, and then at the mirror end step, you will have to uh, discover five. So gets you also card advantage with much of these cards. And also, since Transmutation Fund is also five to cast, you can still, in a way, be hit by the Discover 5 from that of Chimil, the Aimer Sun. And also, I consider the, the Celestus a sort of a mana ramp in the deck. And since it's also an artifact that can also trigger to have uh, night and day uh, changes, it gets you to gain one life and then also gets you to draw a card and discard a card. So, card advantage, life gain effect, but also important in this kind of uh, deck build. Now for the creatures, which uh, I've added also, Cityscape Leveler again, that's 3 copies, it uh, gets you the high chance to uh, uh, hard cast this one, as this is also important to uh, view this effect to destroy up to 1 target non-permanent, but if you were able to cheat this one through the transmutation, it's still a good uh, decision since you can still have this trigger whenever it attacks, and also a uh, combo with an earth if uh, needed for some uh, situation. So that is the copies in the deck. I also considered also Italy, Primal Conqueror, which is also a good target for that of the portal to Parexia. It can also get you to have this uh, uh, card advantage by exiling your opponents uh, or each player's uh, top cards of everybody until they exile an unland card. So in any situation also, you can use their extra mana to have this one activated into an Itali Prima Sickness to just deal uh, poison counters to win the game. So that uh, also one way for you to win this one up. Now for sort of this column would be your 
card advantage, we have a copy of Visions of Pyrexia. So this card would also have you to extend the top card with liberty to mirror upkeep and then you can play that card this turn. And if you're in end step, if you didn't play a card from exile, you can you will create a top power stone token. So in a way you get your token producer which can be used later on as a ramp to your portal to Prexia or cityscape liberator or in instance can be used also for the transmutation fund to be used as a father for a search effect. So that kind of setup we still have those card draws in the form of demand answers that sets you to discard a card or sacrifice an artifact to draw two cards. We also have four copies of Beast Core, as the name suggests, is then also get you to create two treasure tokens and draw two cards at a cost of just one card. And then for your sorcery, which are more of a board uh, control, we have a copy of Hell to Pay. This is a new card from OTG. This can also get you to create uh, extra top treasure tokens equal to the amount of excess damage dealt to a creature. So in any case, you can just target a 1-1 for example, get some extra mana out of that by creating these tokens and wrap into your big spell. And also we see there the Scorting Shock because this is the new 2 mana 5 damage removal that can also deal with creatures with flying. That's not, uh, it's better than the previous uh, Roast card. And then we have 2 copies of the Burder Suit and we can also deal with the matchup of tokens wherein you can also destroy artifacts with mana value to earliest but most of all it will also important to deal uh, 3 damage to its creature and its planeswalker and uh, this one also good as spot removal which can also get you a top power stone token this can also be used to deal na damage not only for that for the creature or planeswalker but also to your opponent's uh, life total that's 3 copies and i think this is the last for the sorcery 2 copies of burn down the house which is also a versatile uh, mass removal for the current uh, standard format for the red to access because it can also get you to create uh, 3 one, one red devil creature tokens that can be used also to attack in case that there are instances that you would need to deal some of the extra damage and of course this utility prince walkers will get you to have a good uh, mid game lineup because of uh, everything you also to search for a mountain it's for example that of a caught fire resistance you can also get you to this deal damage equal to the number of mountains you control to a target creature and you can get an emblem for example later on that uh, whenever a mountain enters the battlefield you have they have the option to deal fire damage to any target and of course chandra is very also important here since you're going well with the mid game up to the late game you can also get you to copy for free at uh, one stigger each turn uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell and also it gets you to card advantage by exiling the top 5 cards of library and then you may cast an instant or sorcery spell from among them and also can get you to spot removal x damage each up to 2 targets so that's a very good kind of setup to do and uh, of course not but last but not the least are your lineup for the lands we have uh, 3 field of ruins to deal with any man land shenanigans of your opponent we have also considered Mirex since uh, Mirex can also produce uh, these tokens which are 1-1 one, one colorless production might artifact creature token so artifact creature would also go with the transmutation funds requirement to have an artifact token with different name so that is also a good father and also a good uh, creature source if needed in any stalled uh, situations and of course to can sense the only channel land since this is monocolor and I've also considered two copies of the Rakus Theater because this can also be used to get you to surveil one. It's an extra mana or library fix from the top card library. And also this is also a mountain so also considered as a red producer per se. But in any instance, you can still be able to improve more if needed in the sideboard for example. If you would need to splash black for discard spells like Jures for the control matchups and our mana value is pretty high for this average is 4.54 you can still be able to get a good uh, drive by turn 4 if you have uh, 4 mana to cast big score but early on you can just basically control the board and ramps a few of these excavation to get you to have your power stone token and uh, the core distribution is evenly for red since this is just 
uh, red mainly with just a little splash of black if needed for the sideboard and uh, we can check on our tokens here which we have uh, six the devil token fraction my token power stone spirit and treasure and for extra i think uh, we have the emblem for cloth fire resistance let's see a sample hand as we before we wrap up this uh, uh, deck tech for the big red uh, we have a play tester option here for this website for a deck so you can see i think this is a solid or a solid uh keep for a starting hand because of we have a three land uh, hand we can also have the option to battle suits and a turn three whereas you can just play mirex by turn three for example and you can use uh, this one to ramp up also as a spot removal so for example if you keep this one then we play a land and then draw a card okay so we have a demand for answers by turn two for instance you can use this one to maybe discard a leveler draw two cards and you get also another spot removal per se and then draw a card this is your third land you can go with a excavation or use a butter suits and for turn three and say for example you can use excavation explosion you will then create a token that's a first stone token for example and then draw a card and luckily we have a fourth land so that we can also go for a big score maybe we can discard uh birds and for example create treasure tokens okay so that's two okay add uh create token copy one copy so that's two treasure tokens you can get you also to draw two cards let's see our draw okay for now we can already have uh, one two three four five six seven but we need seven for our Italy but uh, that's the end uh, step of your opponent so you can still have your draw step and you can use also a Celestus to ramp up let's say top this one so we have now a Celestus to be used also for a ramp into a cloth to search for a mountain so that step way we can still have a good uh, option as to how you would uh, still go with the ramp and then cast your itali and then get a good card advantage for that one so i think that's pretty much it i think you already somewhat uh, picture out the gameplay as a uh, big red would silly just go with controlling the board casting off lanes walkers and then wrapping up into your transmutation font and then setting up for a good uh, search for a portal for pressure for example or a cityscape leveler and a win from that route so I think that's pretty much it for this deck tech uh, your suggestions or comments are pretty much welcome so just uh, let me know down in the comment box after this uh, video and uh, for more of this uh, you need to just stay tuned and we can still have more uh, deck tech discussion for outlaws of thunder junction in standard we make sure that the notifications on as you subscribe for this channel and uh, can still be the first one to be notified as new uploads are added in the coming days and weeks again guys thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and see you guys on the next video